Welcome back to AM Live. Now, with soaring home prices in Singapore and cities like Hong Kong, buying overseas properties has never looked so attractive. The lure of cheaper real estate elsewhere is enticing more people to consider home ownership in overseas locations. But where are the hotspots of the property market in Asia and beyond? And also, what are some of the considerations that potential buyers should think about before putting their money into it? For some answers, we have Calvin Fong from Property uh, Firm Propnext. Very good morning, morning to you, Calvin. Hi, good morning. So let's talk about the hotspots then. Mm -hmm. Where in the world are you know buyers looking to when they want to buy a property? Currently, uh, majority of the locals are actually looking into London properties, Malaysia properties, uh, even like uh, Australia. Uh -huh. Yeah, okay. it's just that maybe Australia at this point of time may not be seems attractive because of the currency as well. But London and Malaysia is actually one of the quite popular one at this point of time. Yeah. I guess those are also familiar locations because uh, quite often we see advertising in the papers here or in the media here about these mm -hmm. properties. But what are, perhaps what are some of the considerations? I mean, when people are starting to think about investing overseas, uh, where should they start? Um, okay, basically, I guess most important is that they need to look into, uh, do not buy based on emotion. Uh, they need to look at the exact location. If Of course, it would be better if you can actually travel down to take a look. Mm -hmm. Just that recently, I just went down to London. Basically, I just want to source out some properties. Mm -hmm. uh, if you talk about the newspaper in the articles, we see that it is along the Thames River. Mm -hmm. But Thames Rivers can actually stretch from, uh, from Heathrow to Airport to Arsenal. Right. So you need to exactly know which is the part of the uh, location. Don't just because of it's near to Thames River, it may sound interesting to right. the person. Right, right. Yeah. So, but well, well, what can you do if you can't afford the time and money to fly over to have a uh, look at the property and actually, you have all these seminars? Um, and one so thing I would like to suggest is that actually you can download the uh, the tube map from mm. the iPad okay. or iPhone or whatever. I think it's very convenient because now, at least when, when I saw the articles, the advertisement in the newspaper, I take a look at my tube map, then I know exactly where is the location. So mm. I re can realize that, hey, is it worthwhile for me to invest in that right. location or not? Okay. So it's you doing idea. your homework, I guess. Yeah, and with yeah. Uh, online maps, Google Maps, you can actually yes, yes, get yes. a yeah. satellite picture of the exact How location far, yeah. Yeah, as because well. Some, some <laughs> of them are very far away from the tube stations, but according to them, they see a Thames River. So uh -huh. Thames okay. River, it does means a lot of things. So I guess that's <laughs> one thing that uh, uh, potential buyers can look out for because sometimes the information can be a little misleading right but besides yeah, yeah. the location are there any other considerations that you should note okay basically well. I guess the other thing is about the uh, the current uh, so-called the loans amount given mm -hmm. how much loan are they allowed to be given of course for London there's something good about it it's just that if you're buying property that is not TOP <laughs> That means it's not ready for own stay. Right. You can actually just pay a 10% down payment and it's actually deferred until TOP. As compared to Singapore, you can't do that anymore. Mm. So that is the attractive part. For example, in Malaysia, sometimes we can also buy properties based on uh, interest absorption scheme. That means we don't even pay a single cent or maybe the developer is paying for your interest in a sense. So that will be... Uh, more attractive for the uh, local people to buy now, mm -hmm. especially the currency, which is uh, one of the very important uh, aspects of why investors are looking into London because of the uh, currency exchange. Favorable. Yeah, right. now it's right. like one is to two, right. you know? So that's why it's very attractive. But as you mentioned, most of these properties are bought uh, primarily for investment, which means they're looking at uh, rental returns. Is that yes, correct? Yes, correct. So, so, for example, in a market like Australia, for instance, I mean, what are some of the considerations that are taken into account? Uh, if let's say talk about Australia, the uh, I guess uh, local has to be to is to know that uh, if they are buying property there, they have to buy off plans. Mm -hmm. They cannot buy directly from those that is already developed. And if you were talk about reselling it away, so you can only sell to back to the local. The which you cannot even sell to the foreigners at, at all. Mm -hmm. So and also on top of that, the capital gain tax is actually fifty percent on the uh -huh. net gains. Mm -hmm. So it's considered quite high. Mm -hmm. So uh, do consider all this and also the loan as well. Like recently, I just been to Bangkok. Bangkok totally no loans at all for foreigners. Mm. Okay. So we need to consider all this aspect before you buy a properties. So I suppose, I mean, in any city or country that you want to uh, buy a home or, or property, there are rules and regulations that you yes, need to consider yes. that's unique to that particular place. In that sense, I guess that will play a big factor as well for investors on where they want to go. Mm -hmm. Oh, definitely. Especially the loans uh, quantum that we are talking uh -huh. about. If I have that amount of money, can I buy two or three? What's the loan given? 
you see, if let's say for Malaysia, we can just, I, I mean, for Malaysia, we can even get up to 90% for the first property. Right. For those high income earners. If not, they can easily get 80 to 85. You not know, like Singapore with 60, 40. Which means that you can actually buy two or three properties in Malaysia mm -hmm. as compared right. to one in Singapore today. And okay. besides the cities that you've just mentioned, do you also see other hot spots that's mm -hmm. rising now, you know, getting the attention of many home buyers? Uh, of course, the other hot spot is also US as well because the cost is also very low, mm. currency is also very low. It's just that uh, I guess people have to be very careful because a landed properties in US will cost you about 50,000. But of course the attractive part is actually the yield. The yield is about 10 over percent, but of course the interest rate can be high as well. Right, it's right. about 9%. Mm -hmm. And the properties that they can loan up to for first property is 50%. Of course the quantum is so low, so people don't even bother to take a loan for, especially locals people here, mm -hmm. they may not even want to consider. Mm -hmm. la. It's just that whether they find it convenient to actually fly there, you know, to manage it. Sure. You know, a lot of uh, tax issue, all this they, they must know mm -hmm. before they commit. Of course, I think ideally it would be better for people to look at uh, Asia country. Would be, is it, I think it's more convenient. Like what, what else in Asia? What are some of the other yeah. Asian countries that are popular? Okay, like for example, KL now, if we can get very good property, right, recently me and my, some of the investor groups of people, they bought Malaysia property. The U is about 7% net. Right. Mm. So their down payment is probably about 50,000, that kind of uh, funds. What about other Asian, countries? other Asian countries besides uh, Malaysia? Uh, besides Malaysia, currently, these are the few that is quite commonly okay. Not talked about. Because I've heard about yeah, you know, places like Myanmar, uh, Vietnam, Vietnam. And, you know. Vietnam, the only thing is that the interest rate is 17% to 20%. Oh. Okay. So it's whether are we comfortable with that. Uh -huh. It's whether the you can actually support that as well. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of consideration in this. So sense. actually, it also depends. If you have money, you don't need to borrow from a bank. That will also change the game for you because... Mm -hmm. Uh, then some of the interest rates don't matter yeah. if you're not borrowing any money anyway. Definitely, right? definitely. Of course, the most important whether how do they find the country, mm -hmm. whether do you think that there's a potential in a sense. Yeah. So ha if, if someone has the money and wants to park it somewhere, I mean, what's the best approach? Do they approach an agency? Do they, you know, scout the internet? What resources can they look to? Basically, of course, if they can find uh, the... Uh, the right training that provide them with the educations or if they can find some good agents out there who can share with them more about the location in just instead of just selling the property mm. tell them a little bit more about the financing about the regulations so that the customer can feel a little mm -hmm. bit more at ease when they purchase right. do not just only look at the properties look at what are the so-called setback what are consideration right, before right. we commit into the properties okay yeah Okay, don't be taken away by the uh, marketing hype, you know. I think we often get very yeah. tight like, ooh, you know, nice place. Yeah, well, thanks, Especially, Calvin, yep, for coming thanks. in this morning. Calvin Fong, the Senior Group District Director at property firm Propnex, giving us some useful tips on where the uh, property hotspots are currently around the world and what to look out for when you want to invest. That's right. Well, we will talk more about that in just a while. In fact, maybe you're think thinking about getting a few friends together to buy into some real estate. Group buying. Yeah, yeah. that's a trend right now and it's proving to be uh, quite lucrative as well. So why is it becoming a popular way to invest? We'll find out.